Hey friends, Adam here with FED. Let's talk about the Nintendo Switch and the possibility of a Nintendo Switch Pro. There have been some rumors going around recently, and honestly it's been speculated for quite a while now, that a new model of the Nintendo Switch would be releasing that is a step up in terms of hardware and capabilities. Now, last year we saw two new models of the Switch come out. One being the Nintendo Switch Lite, which was just purely a handheld, a little smaller, and was cheaper. And we also saw, while it wasn't rebranded, a new Nintendo Switch that had better battery life and uh, just better overall capabilities. I'm surprised Nintendo didn't push that harder as like a new Switch to buy, but I'm fine that they didn't, didn't rebrand and whatever and save the opportunity for later. But my question is, is a new Nintendo Switch Pro, is a Nintendo Switch Pro really necessary? And so help me if they call it the, the new Nintendo Switch, like, you know, the new 3DS, new Super Mario Brothers. I, I'm going to lose them. They better not call it that, like the new, new Nintendo Switch. But is it really necessary? Do we need a hardware upgrade? Now, I'm sure a lot of people will just be like, well, yeah, of course, if we can get 4K gaming, if we can get um, faster processing speed, whatever then why not? I'll shell out the extra 100, 200 bucks that it'll be on top of the normal Switch price. But my worry is that they'll do what they tried to do with the 3DS, where they had 3DS ex new 3DS exclusives, and there weren't very many of them, but the, there were a few. Um, and it seemed like, I, I don't like that uh, business model to say, oh, this is just a slight upgrade from the previous model. Um, but it can play this game that the other one can't. So it kind of forces you to buy the new model. Whereas I personally am not too worried about 4K graphics. I'm not too worried about my games loading faster or whatever else. I'm fine to wait, you know, 30 seconds <laughs> for my game to load if I have to. So I'll, I'll stick with my original Switch. So the idea of shelling out cash for a, a Nintendo Switch Pro just to play a few games that are exclusive to it would feel, I mean, it would add value to the package. It feels less like they'd be adding value to the Nintendo Switch Pro and more like they'd be taking away value from the original Nintendo Switch. And for anyone who's bought the Nintendo Switch so far, that is just like a slap in the face. I should be able to play a game that's branded as a Nintendo Switch game on my original Nintendo Switch. Now, I, I, I have faith in Nintendo that they won't do this because, honestly, it kind of failed on the Nintendo 3DS. There weren't... I'm trying to think of the exclusive. It was like Xenoblade Chronicles for the 3DS, the, the remake they did there. I'm pretty sure that was a uh, new 3DS exclusive. And there were a few others, I believe. But there weren't very many. And that's a good thing. I, I hope they saw that that was, like, a bad idea. Hopefully, that I don't think that sold super well. I, I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it didn't sell super well. I, I have hope that they won't do that. Okay, but now let's assume that the rumors are true. We're going to get a Nintendo Switch Pro this year. Uh, the, the rumor There's rumors going around saying uh, fourth quarter, which is just like, hol like holiday season, um, I believe. Or it would be, if they're, unless they're talking fourth quarter of the fiscal year, it'd be essentially next year, <laughs> which is dumb. My hopes for a Nintendo Switch Pro would be a bigger screen on, when, when in handheld mode, of course, a uh, longer battery life because man you know like playing a, a really like hardware intensive game like breath of the wild or or even fire emblem three houses really eats in your eats into your battery life and it'd be nice to be able to play for a little longer especially on like a long flight or something that would be something that would make me think about picking it up um i want a uh, new joy con that are better i want new like the side controllers i want them to be maybe even be a little bigger and then i would like um a traditional d-pad on the the left joy con as opposed to the button setup they have right now. And I understand why they have the button setup. It's so it can be a controller on the side and you essentially have uh, the same controller even though the joystick's in a different place and feels awkward uh, on on one of them. Regardless, I see why they did it, but I would love a traditional D-pad on my Joy-Con. Like a Nintendo official. I know you can like buy uh, knockoffs and <laughs> I was I was gonna say Mad Cats. I don't know if Mad Cats is still around. You guys remember those Mad Cats controllers? We, I remember having them uh, for my Nintendo 64, we had like four, we had three Mad Cats controllers and like two actual good controllers. Yeah, it was fun. Good times, good times. There's always a fight. Who I always fought uh, to get the purple atomic, the atomic purple Nintendo 64 controller. Good stuff, good stuff. 
Anyways, those are my thoughts. I really just want a significantly better battery life and a bigger screen, bigger screen real estate. I would play handheld mode way more often if the screen was bigger, especially since I play a lot of, you know, uh, RPGs and, you know, of course, Fire Emblem, where there's a lot of text to read. I, pref I would just prefer the bigger screen to make it easier to read said text and, and numbers and whatever else. But let me know what you think. What would you want a Nintendo Switch Pro? Would, uh, you know, 4K graphics, would that mean a lot to you? Are you okay with having Nintendo Switch Pro exclusives? And yeah, just all that stuff. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. We'll have a discussion on it in a couple days. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I talk about Fire Emblem and all sorts of other stuff. And it's going to be a good time. It's kind of a new thing talking about non-Fire Emblem. But I decided I want to talk about other stuff as well here on the channel. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe for more for more discussion videos like this. And if we get good response on this video, I'll do a discussion, another discussion post on it. And I'll read your comments and talk about them. It'll be a good time. And make sure to like this video as well. It helps uh, with channel visibility. And something I don't normally plug at all, I just kind of have it, is the join button right next to the subscribe button on my videos. If you press that join button, you're, you can pay a small fee, small monthly fee to support the channel. It really helps uh, keep the lights on here at FUD and uh, allows me to make more content and better content. So please consider uh, if you have the cash to spare becoming a member, it would mean a lot. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.